Box fighting is, and will always be, one of the most crucial elements of Fortnite. You know, one of the main reasons pros like Mongrel, Fiber, and Booga are so dominant is because they can consistently destroy anybody who tries to box fight them. You know, pro players are constantly finding and using new techniques to give themselves an edge in box fights. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, we're here today. What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, man, the one and only Keith Allen. I got a new Insta. Connect with me on this as soon as possible. That's right, I got a new Insta at your motivation guy. I want to inspire you with vids, and I want would love to connect with you personally and communicate with you guys because I believe in you. I really, really do. So connect with me on this as soon as possible. But before we start this video, if you guys are looking to get better at Fortnite, click the link below to go to ProGuys.com where you can play with the best players in the world. Sign up for our membership at ProGuys and you're going to get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players out there like Benji, Mongrel, and more World Cup champions coming soon. If you want to compete in Fortnite, listen, you got to check this out, ProGuys.com. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back, relax, and I'm not sponsored by this candy, but I wish I was, but I love it though. It is that bunch of crunch. You better get that as soon as you can because it's amazing. The backwards ramp phase is a new technique that can essentially trick your opponent into thinking you're on top of your ramp when in reality, you're phasing through it and you can score free shots on them. This can easily score you upwards of 100 damage and turn a bad fight in your favor or even get you an easy kill. To start this technique, all right, this is what you gotta do. Check this out. You have to be inside of a box. Go ahead and jump, placing a ramp below you, just like this. Next, edit the ramp backwards by selecting the tile furthest away and drawing I can get towards you. Good job. Make sure you're touching the absolute back of the box. All right, warning. If you're not fully touching this wall, then the technique is not going to work. Once you're all set, edit the ramp again in the direction facing away from you. Great. When this is done, you're going to know it's correct if your ramp appears with the yellow color. This color signifies that you're facing through the ramp and any shots, builds, or edits can go through it. So, now that we've gone over how to actually perform this technique, let's go over how it could be used. First up, if you have a ramp on top of a player in your box, you can do this trick to get easy shots while, you know, they think you're above them preparing to edit down. Second, if your opponent is outside pressuring your box, quickly perform this technique and edit a window or arc, revealing the inside of your box. From their perspective, it's going to look like you're on top of the ramp. But unfortunately for them, you're inside of the ramp and able to shoot them. Finally, guys, if you have a ramp above your opponent and you can just see they're touching the back wall, you can edit the ramp back to phase them through the ramp, which will cause even more confusion and likely result in a free shot. All right, so here's a beautiful example of Unknown Army using this trick to score an easy 200 pump on his opponent. To practice this technique, all right, head into a creative on your own and simply perform it over and over again. You know, once you're comfortable with the mechanics of it, grab a friend and just do some box fights. Focusing on using this trick as much as you can. Given enough time, you're going to be able to pull this off consistently and look really cool when doing so. So the Kanata Classic is a new technique that has blown up like crazy recently due to its easy use and effectiveness in close range box fights. So here's a quick example of how powerful this technique can actually be. We see Kanata hits Tifu for 100 health, right? With barely a chance of getting it back. But believe me when I say, this is only a small percent of what you can really achieve with this trick. First, let's go over how to actually set up the Kanata Classic before we get into its uses. To start, place a wall and open your edit menu like usual. Select the top row and then the remaining parts of the two left columns. The only blue tiles remaining should be the middle left and bottom left tiles. The resulting edit should be a small rectangle on the bottom left part of the wall. If your edit looks like this, you've done it correctly, bravo, bravo. You're probably wondering, why is this Kanata Classic so effective? Hmm, what makes it better than a triangle edit or an arc? Not to worry, my friends, the motivation guy, your motivation guy is right here to help you, come on. The first use of the Kanata Classic is the classic jump or reset shot, all right? This is best used for mouse and keyboard players who have scroll wheel reset, so the wall can be reset instantly. However, you know, if you're on console or controller, you can still do this. It just takes a little bit more practice. To perform the jump and reset shot, set up behind the Kanata Classic wall you've edited, right? And simply jump, shoot your shotgun, and reset the wall as fast as possible. If done this properly, this technique is going to give you guys an easy shot on your opponent and give them almost no time to shoot you back. 
It is so important to practice this reset though, alright? As it can be a bit tricky, especially without scrollable reset. The best way to practice this shot is to simply head into creative. Do the Kanata classic edit, jump, shoot, and reset as fast as you possibly can until you're feeling really confident, because you know, I'm all about confidence. The second use of the Kanata classic, man, is the good old right hand peek. I love the right hand peeks. Do you guys like the right hand peeks? This one is like a lot more straightforward than the jump reset shot. Basically, the way this is done is by simply peeking out of the right side while while crouching, flicking out to shoot, and quickly coming back, either resetting the wall or just going back behind it. When done correctly, it should look like this. Here's a quick clip of Kanata using his own technique to completely destroy a player. Honestly, you know, the Kanata Classic is one of the best techniques available when you're box fighting due to the ease of use and versatility of the edit. So you got to, guys. You got to head into a creative with your friends and just practice using this edit over and over again. Until you've gotten the hang of it, you'll know you got it when you can consistently pull it off in your fights. So you may have been watching Mongrel stream at one point, right? Or even another player who has picked up on this technique and seen this ridiculously fast double edit that gives him what basically looks like a free kill. Do you know what technique I'm talking about? I'm talking about the Mongrel Classic. The Mongo Classic is pretty simple to do, but it does take a lot of practice to get it to speed where it's like super useful. To start this technique, you have to set up for a right hand peek just like this and then take your opponent's wall. Good job. Once you've taken the wall, edit an arc or a triangle on the left side just like this. Place a ramp inside and edit the left side of the ramp backwards. If this is done correctly, the result should look like this. You know, the reason why the Mongo Classic is so great is because you can just get an easy angle on your opponent while they're stuck behind a ramp and unable to shoot you back. You can see here that the opponent has no angle, yet we get a free shot off. There's basically no risk involved unless you just mess up the technique. Now, there is one issue you might run into when doing the Mongo Classic though, and that's if your opponent ends up on your ramp. This rarely ever happens, but it's good to know, like what to do in case it ever does. The way you can counter it and turn the fight back in your favor, what, this is what you gotta do. What I like to do, and what I've seen others do, and what most pros do, is edit the ramp to the left, like this, so you still have a right hand peek and can get easy shots off without your opponent having a chance to shoot back. It's important to know this trick in case your opponent ever gets on top of the ramp, so you can just make sure you get shots off either way. You know, the best way to practice the Mongrel Classic is to simply go on a creative eye and do it repeatedly on your own. Simply place a wall down, quickly replace it as if your opponent is behind it, and quickly perform the edit. We recommend starting slow and doing it in a slower speed and getting faster as you get more comfortable with it. Eventually, you can increase your speed until you got it down in fights. If you've ever performed this trick on an opponent in game, it's basically game over for them. Have you ever been in a box fight, been fighting your heart out, and then you realize you almost have no materials? You're like, uh-oh. <laughs> this has happened to me, like, more than I like to admit, kind of embarrassed about it, I like to move on, yeah. If you can never get into this situation again, we've got a quick solution for you guys that will give you an easy right hand peek, and it'll only cost you one build, yeah, I said it, one build. To do this peek, all right, simply place a ramp in a box facing your opponent's box and open your edit menu. Start on the far right side of the ramp, go back towards you to the left and back up forward, forming a spiral staircase. If you do this correctly, the resulting edit should look something like this. This staircase is gonna give you an easy right hand peek from the back and your opponent is not gonna be able to hit you. The only counter is if the ramp is broken, which people hardly ever think to do. All right guys, so check out this clip of Zexro using this technique to score an easy kill on this opponent who's holding his wall. If your opponent decides to try pushing into your box, here's another solution that you could use that involves a technique we went over earlier. Head to the back of your staircase, crouch, and reset the edit facing toward you. Then while touching the back wall, flip it back around to form the ramp phase technique we went over first. This is a great way to transition into another trick and can score some beautiful looking kills on unsuspecting players. So, you know, replacing your opponent's structures using a shotgun is one of the most underrated tricks right now. Instead of using your pickaxe, where everyone knows to hold their wall, you can surprise your opponent by instead using your gun. Let's be honest here, all right, let's, 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 let's be real. If your opponent stops pickaxing your wall and takes out a gun instead, you're not expecting it to get replaced, right? That's the beauty of doing this. You know, a few numbers to take note of are the structure damage values for Fortnite shotguns. For tactical shotguns, the structure damage from gray to gold is 50, 53, 55, 58, and 60. For the pump and order, it's 45, 46, 50, 54, and 55. 
If their wall is below the value for your shotgun, you can quickly shoot it and replace it with no delay and get some awesome plays from this. Here's a clip of Ghost Aiden using his shotgun to easily replace an opponent's wall. This one is from back in season eight, but it still shows the same exact technique used in shotgun replacing chapter two. Next, my friends, let's go on over a few common mistakes people make in box fights. So you can learn from our past mistakes and not to have the same problems we had. Trust me, you know, I used to make some of these mistakes and I know many people that have way too often. So listen closely and avoid going through the same pain that many of us have went through. First guys, always be sure to hold as many structures as possible and avoid going into areas where your opponent owns most of the edits. Whoever owns the most edits basically runs the fight and the other player is at their mercy. Running through a maze of your opponent's builds is a fast track to a word called death. Second, try to avoid jumping into your opponent's box like a psycho during your box fights, okay? <laughs> Even if they're low, try to go for safe shots instead to avoid, you know, getting hit by that brutal one pump or a lucky shot they might get. Sure, the odds may be in your favor, I get it, but that could quickly change with a bit of luck for your opponent. Third, never overuse a single technique. You know, we see way too many players overusing one cool trick they've learned, you know, to the point where it's completely predictable and it backfires on them. I'm sure you're excited about it. I get it. But do you have to use it every play? <laughs> For example, if you've used the ramp face trick two times in a fight already, your opponent is going to be on the lookout for this technique and it's going to be ready to counter if you do it again. This is the one of the main reasons, man, that knowing multiple tricks is truly important so you can avoid overly relying on just one of them. Finally, my friends, the last mistake we see players make is either losing track of their opponents or failing to put on enough pressure. You know, if you've hit your opponent hard and they're going to try and heal, put on as much pressure as possible on them to avoid this. Spam your AR, man. Go for shots. Do whatever it takes possible to avoid them getting heals off. Also, make sure to constantly keep track of your opponent so they can't sneak away either. However, just make sure that you're not tunnel visioning and that you're always looking out for third parties, all right? Remember that even if there is only one person in your direct vicinity, there could always be another player like 50 meters away plotting his attack. So put on pressure, but don't be like hyper-focused on one opponent to the point where you lose track of everything else. All right, guys, so let's just do a quick recap of every technique we've gone over. The backwards ramp phase is a quick trick you can use to confuse your opponent and potentially score a free shot, turning a bad fight in your favor. The Kanata Classic is an easy, versatile edit that you can use to either get an easy right hand peek or perform a jump reset shot to score damage on your opponent. The Mongrel Classic. You know, it's just one of the most effective techniques to use if you're trying to get a bunch of damage on your opponent without them being able to counter it. The right hand ramp peak is a low material solution to a high material problem. Use this guys like whenever you're low in materials and you're trying to get a right hand peak to finish your fight. Fifth, using weapons to replace structures can surprise your opponent and even get you some easy shots if you string it together with other techniques. Finally, and finally, <laughs> avoid the mistakes we mentioned earlier is going to ensure that you're not only safe from getting hit once in a while, but you're also gonna be doing everything as efficiently and as smart as possible and winning more box fights as a result. Who wants that? I know I do. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. And once again, I have my new Insta that you can connect with me on. I'm posting up vids. I want to connect with you guys to inspire you to not only be great in this game, but also in life. I believe in you. I really, really do. I am your number one fan. Keep going. Never quit. Never surrender. So go into your next box fight confident, my friends, knowing that you've got some great tricks up your sleeve that you can use to confuse and outplay your opponents. We really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to use code ProGuys in the Fortnite item shop. When you make any sort of purchases, it just, it really just helps us out and we really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you thought about this video and what you'd like to see next on this channel because we aim to bring you guys the best quality Fortnite content. So do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel and show ProGuys.com some love for bringing you this video. We'll see you next time.